Hi everybody. So today's Monday, that means it's time for family movie night. And I was going to do a whole month of September as Disney obscure films. That's kind of what I did last year. And I don't know if that's actually going to happen because of some other things that I want to talk about. But anyway, for this one, that's what this is. It's an obscure Disney film. And I thought it would be really fun because I love the book Great Expectations. It's one of my all-time favorites. And I think the people that are really turned off of classic literature should give this one a shot because it's so creative and it's so different and it manages to continually surprise me even after I've read it. It does not go the way that I'm expecting, especially with Estella and Miss Havisham and who the ben mysterious benefactor is. I think that there's a lot of really, uh, really fun surprises here and a lot of things that that are just weird and wacky and and entertaining. I just really enjoy it. And so I thought it would be fun, since I was thinking of doing obscure Disney films, I thought it'd be fun to talk about the uh, little known 1989 film. It's actually a mini series because it's over five hours, but uh, it's a film of Great Expectations that was originally released to the Disney Channel because the Disney Channel was really different back then. It was more of a uh, kind of like an HBO kind of a thing. You had to purchase it specifically. It was like a premium channel and it wasn't as much for, for children back in the early 90s and uh, 80s. Uh, and so, you know, it's kind of a, a different thing. But this miniseries uh, has an incredible cast. Anthony Calf as Pip, and I think he does a really good job of, a, you know, sort of there, there's like a little bit of arrogance to the character, but also like a lot of innocence too, that he doesn't really know what he's talking about with a lot of this, especially when he's dealing with Estella who is very knowledgeable and very manipulative. Uh, Stella is played by Kim Thompson. And then you have uh, Jean Simmons playing Miss Havisham and she's so good in this. She's just creepy and weird and uh, yeah, very well done. And then you have John Rice Davies playing uh, his, uh, Joe Gra Gregory, his uh, Pip's kind of mentor uh, growing up. And then you have Anthony Hopkins playing a, a Magwitch, and he's very scary and weird. And it's it's a really it's a really funny part to be played by played by somebody like Anthony Hopkins. And then you have Ray McNally playing Mr. Jaggers. So you have a really great cast, and I think they all they all kind of have chemistry together. They all feel like they're a part of the same world. And the costumes and the uh, the production design really holds up well. Even though I had to watch it on VHS, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, and it, it, it there's some of these other ones, like some of the 80s Jane Austens, like they do not hold up at all. They look really cheap compared to what they do now. And but in this one, I think it looks really good. It looks basically as good as what you'd see in any, you know, Masterpiece Theater kind of a production that you have now. Uh, it's, it's very lush, very well done. And, uh, you know, I love costume dramas and I love the story of Great Expectations. And so, you know, this is right up my alley. I, I, I really did enjoy it. It basically includes most parts of the book. There's the major difference between this uh, movie and the book is they definitely add more for Estella and there's a lot more dialogue for her. You understand kind of her motivations more. And I kind of, I mean, I kind of like the aloof Estella, but I also kind of liked this take on it as well. I thought it was pretty good. And also like his, his upbringing isn't as like bad as it is in like you don't feel that sort of sense of like I've got to get out of here uh, that he kind of feels in the book. Uh, it's not as bad, uh, but yeah, that's basically the, the 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 main differences that I got from it. Uh, but I I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really well acted. Thought it was really well done, and uh, you know it's a story that I really like. So if you get a chance to see this old version of Great Expectations, or if you remember seeing it back in the day. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, if there's any other obscure uh, Disney films that you'd like me to take a look at that I haven't, definitely let me know in the comments section, and thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye!